Hey G Squad and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made this string bean casserole. So if you're interested in seeing this, then just keep watching. Uh, I have a can of uh, string beans here. Now I prefer uh, French style cut string beans, but if you want to use the uh, thicker cut ones, that's fine too, whatever your preference is. The uh, only seasoning I'm using is uh, black pepper and that's because the soup, uh, which is the cream of potato soup, that uh, contains salt. And so this is a condensed can, which means that it's uh, one can of soup uh, plus a can of water. But I may just use half a can of water because I want my um, my soup to have like a thicker uh, consistency. And then the last thing that I have here is some uh, crispy fried onions and these also uh, contain some sodium in it as well so again that's why I'm not going to be using any salt for this recipe alright so uh, we're going to go ahead and get started and the first thing you want to do is drain the um, the juice from the can and then rinse your string beans as well to, you know because it has been soaking in this um, sodium uh, water and so we want to you know I want to rinse that off as much as possible okay okay so right out of the can this is how the soup looks you see how thick that is and then also I can feel the chunks of potatoes so now I added some water to the can so I'm just going to give it a stir just to scoop up the uh, remainder soup that's in there let's give it a nice little mix and so now I'm just going to uh, just gradually start adding water and then just going to mix as I go along until it has a nice consistency that I'm satisfied with. And at this point you can even um, taste your soup. And if it's kind of bland, if it's giving you bland, then if you want to add some um, seasoning to that, you know, you can. Taste that. Wow, that tastes good. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes really good. potato skins in there. So add just a little more water. Because this is going in the oven and it's going to thicken up some when we get it in the oven. Okay, so now, so I just has chunks of potatoes in here too. Potato skin. Okay, so now I'm going to add this to this bowl. It's blurry. Let me fix this camera, y'all. All right, so now I'm going to combine my soup with the string beans. then kind of like fold it. You don't want to go aggressive with this because you don't want to have your um, string beans turn into mush. So I'm just going to be gentle and fold it. And so I'll add some black pepper to this now. And then also, I'm going to grab some of these fried onions and put them in there and I'm going to crush them up. Not too much, but that nice big one crushed up. And again, I'm just going to fold. Okay. So again, this has chunks of potatoes in here. You have your string beans and um, your fried onions. So 
So now I'm also going to take a layer of these fried onions and just coat the top. And so now I preheated my oven to 375 degrees and I'm just going to let this bake until these onion, onion topping um, has pretty much browned. And I love onions so Okay, so there we have it. So now I'm going to pop these into the oven. All right, y'all. So our string bean casserole is done. So as you can see how the onions brown. And so this cooked for 25 minutes on 375 degrees. So I'm just going to let this sit and cool down for about five minutes, five, ten minutes, and then I'll come in and, um, and uh, scoop some out, spoon some out, so you can see what it looks like. All right, family. So I have my spoon here. And you all, if you hear uh, not a lot of noise in the background, they're doing some work in my area, and so uh, it's really nothing I could do about it. But in any case, so this is a spoon full of the casserole. Okay, bring it a little closer and hopefully the camera will, will cooperate but that's how it looks it's nice and creamy and I've tasted it already so you have the uh, the creamy texture from the soup the crispiness from the um, the bacon bits not to mention that they're they're charred now somewhat and then you have the chunks of potato and like I said, the season, the seed is nothing much. I didn't even need to add black pepper to this, to be honest. But in any case, yes. Yeah, so, um, you know, this is just another way that you can, you know, spruce up your um, vegetables, especially your canned vegetables. You know, a lot of times you don't have access to fresh uh, produce. Uh, it, it may not be affordable. And so you have all these canned goods. And so this is a way that you can, um, you won't get bored. Now, but this one right here... Definitely, you know, you can't go wrong with this. All right, family? So anyway, I love you guys much. Um, stay uplifted. Stay encouraged. Uh, love on each other. And uh, I love you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.